when you have two parts, right? Um, and the world together. Let's make a, a world real quick. I'm gonna be using the um, command bar for this one. All right. Um, I'm gonna indent every blank space so it can look readable. <laughs> Right here. Oh no, not that. We're gonna do this first, right here. Right here, right. So yeah, now it looks more readable. Uh, so I actually did all of this in um, the command bar, and I explained all of it in the command bar. So I'm gonna just re-explain it. Um, basically, what I did was I created a new world instance that placed this out of the um, the blue part. Right. I set the part one to the red part and the part zero to the blue part, right? And then um, here I'm, I'm attempting to show you um, how to properly like displace the parts using the the, the properties um, CO and C1, right? Um, what I'm gonna show you first is like the wrong way to do it and then the right way to do it, if that makes sense. So yeah. I should've just done that from the start. I don't know why I was using the, I'm getting, I'm gonna get that little plugin where like you can just do it, but I don't really have that yet. So yeah. Um, if I were to do this instead, right, and I have these two, um, these two parts, what is this part then? Oh, delete. Add an extra part without knowing. So yeah, um, if I were to try to use a logic that part O, that CO moves part O's um, C frame, and then C1 moves um, part 1 C frame, I'll do this, right? I'll take C, uh, the blue C frame right here and put it in CO, right? Because I'll be thinking that, hey, um, since this is part O, blue part is part O, then if I just do, um, if I change, um, if I set CO C frame to the blue part C frame is gonna remain in the same place. And if I do that with the C1 C frame, which is a uh, um, red part, right? If I were to do that like this, I, I would assume that it will just, it will weld each other, right? But remain like this, but that's not the case. Cause look, if I were to run it, this is what happens. See, you see how it flip flopped? Yeah, because what you're doing here is you are actually set, you're actually changing part one's C frame using CO. CO actually changes part one C frame, and then C one changes part zero C frame because C one CO basically means like CO CO right or well um well dot CO right is equal to the display um what so well dot CO basically means um it means the That, that doesn't make sense. So while that CO basically means um, the way part um, part one is attached to part uh, let me just now underline that one part uh, part zero. So you're actually changing part one C frame, not part zero C frame. That's why I flip flopped. Now the way that you would actually want to do it would be um, you would do you would delete these right. And then you do um, weld.co would equal red C frame, right? This is because we want it to remain in the exact same spot how it's shown right here. So, and then we do weld.c1 equals blue C frame. But now if you were to run it, it's gonna stay the exact same, but it's also gonna be weld like, as you can see right here. Well, we'll take this part out, that's not whatever. But yeah, and let's say you wanted to like, um, I literally just showed you. But let's say you wanted to just um, move the, like actually displace the part. Let's say I, I like, I, I said I didn't want it like this, right? And I wanted to move the blue part up two studs. Um, you can just do like, leave it like this. And then you can just either do this way, add two studs by multiplying the C frames. You can do C frame down to U um, and you can move it two studs up, right? And then if you were to run it, um, you would get that result. See, it's two, it's two studs up. Or, or you can just do it like this. Um, to world space i'm starting to lean to this more because you can do like being more fluent and using this method the two world space method will allow you to do some other stuff which i'll go over there but yeah um you can do like that i'll also give you the exact same result as you can see here um basically what this means is that this i'm going to save this for like a whole nother video but two world space basically means like you're making a new c frame right this returns this function returns a new c frame um relative to this c frame right so this is going to be the, the it's going to set this C frame as the origin point, and then whatever you put in here is going to be the displacement. So I'm saying that um, from here, you want to go two studs up, 
or no from here this see from right here you don't want you want to go two studs up so that's what this is basically doing um it's really simple i'll probably make a whole video on that but yeah that's basically it the main takeaways that you should take from this video is that um um co is to displace or move part one and then c1 is to displace or move part zero not the other way around but yeah that's it for today um make sure you guys take it easy have a good one